Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I wanted to talk to you guys about the worst books that I read in 2019. Quite a few books that I really really did not like this year and if you saw my last video, my favorites video, you'd know that like I had some favorites but like there was definitely favorites that year but there was a lot of books that I didn't like and then a lot of ones that I thought were just okay in terms of last year's so let's talk about the ones that weren't so great. <laughs> First up is I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. This is a manga that is about a girl who has a pancreatic disease and she writes all about it in her diary but she doesn't really tell anyone in her school about it. One day some boy finds it and he reads it and then she sees she, he wants to interact with her because he kind of feels bad that she has a disease and then she kind of makes him be her friend because she's lonely and she doesn't have anybody so she uses her disease to make him feel bad to hang out with her and that just sounds wrong <laughs> there's so much wrong with that so that I really didn't like for that reason the art was nice but like the actual plot of the story I didn't like and that just whole aspect of just kind of manipulating someone to spending time with you because you have an illness is just really horrible and I don't like seeing that portrayed in books or manga. I just think why would you do that? Next I have The Prom and this is this is actually a Broadway musical but it was made into a book as well and it follows two girls who want to go to prom together but there's complications when they don't want two girls going to prom together. It talks a lot about sexuality and coming out especially in different parts of the world where maybe it's not as accepted as others and it talks about that and how she just wants her prom with the person that she really loves and she can't have that. Kind of about that and it's a really really great story in general. If you want to see the Broadway musical I highly recommend it. I loved it. Penguin took me to see it when I was in New York and I adored it but the book wasn't that great and there was some issues with um they switched some of the sexuality and I know there was a lot of debate and a bit of controversy around that fact and then it was also just not well written and there was just some other things about the actual book that just weren't that enjoyable. Next up here I have Look Both Ways and this is by Jason Reynolds. This one I was so excited for I picked it up at BEA last year. I got an ARC and I was really excited for it because I loved A Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This one was it's a middle grade book and it's basically a tale told within I think five blocks or eight blocks. It's been a while since I read these but it's told within eight blocks I believe and and it kind of just talks about the kids and the neighbors and like kind of that dynamic and having like a neighbor like a close neighborhood and how you interact with people on your way to school and things like that so definitely something I haven't really read about before because I really never really had like neighbors um, growing up so it's not something I was used to reading about so it's a little bit interesting on that aspect but the it was just really juvenile and I know it's middle grade so it's like you can't really just judge it because it's juvenile because it's middle grade but I just wouldn't recommend it to like there's better middle grade books out there that I would recommend to people who want to read middle grade or who are of that audience but this one just really lacked and it was talking about boogers and it like it just didn't have that like bam ending and the thing about middle grades and how I kind of personally rate them is that there's always one aspect of it and there's always like an ending that has like a main message to the story because you're supposed to, it's supposed to have a main message at the end of the story to teach the kid or kids or adults it doesn't really matter but the, there's supposed to be a big overall message and an impact for middle grade especially for children who read these and like they either want a cool adventure story or they want something kind of like oh wow that was like really interesting so for me I just thought Look Both Ways didn't really have that and that was disappointing. So Twice in a Blue Moon which I have a vlog of me like basically ranting about it which I will link but this is a new Christina Lauren book that came out last year again another arc I got last year and I hated it so much it was my first Christina Lauren book and this one was I can't even formulate like a proper synopsis for you guys or like a proper review right now because it's been so long since I read it but there was just so many lines that I hated about it I don't know if they changed anything in the new copy but there was a lot of quotes from the arc that pissed me off um, there was a lot of things said the love interest is gross and the romance is gross and <laughs> there's just so many things wrong with it and I don't know if I'll pick up another Christina Lauren because of it as well because Twice on a Blue Moon just wasn't it, I guess. 
Next up here, I unfortunately have Wild Card by Mary Lou. This was on my favorites list a few years ago, so the fact that the sequel's now on my least favorite, it kind of makes me sad, but, and I love Mary Lou as well, but this one, I just really don't think it was good, um, a good ending. I just thought it was okay, and it wasn't really a strong sequel. It was just kind of like, you could have, like, I think Warcross could have been one book, and I was so excited that they released a second one because I really loved the characters and the world and stuff, but do I think it was necessary? Not really. And I think it kind of showed that it was just like, oh, a, like second book syndrome, is it? Second book syndrome? Where it's just like the first book's like, wow. And then the second one's like, eh. So I think that's kind of how that one went for me anyways. I don't know. How did you guys like Wildcard? Did you guys read it? What did you think? Like Warcross? So good. I love a Warcross. Great book. But Wild card was, mm. last but not least, I have Undead Girl Gang. This is a book that came out maybe a year or two ago, and it was kind of, a bunch of people were talking about it, and it was about, you know, um, witchcraft and Wicca, and it was about witchcraft, and there was zombies and witchcraft and feminism and so many fun things, and I was like, okay, this is right up my alley, and I read it, and I talked to Rihanna from Crescent Moon Re Reads about it as well, and we just identified all the problems with it, and how it kind of fake there's just some things that are said about Wicca and witchcraft that, that like kind of like they're the same thing which is not true and just because the main character is Wiccan I think they're kind of continuing on sorry some friends knocked on my door that's basically what it's like living in a dorm but yes um Undead Girl Gang they basically made it sound like Wicca and Wiccan wait Wicca and Wiccan wow okay that they basically made it sound like witchcraft and wicca were the same thing which is just not true and there's just so many things like apparently resurrecting is suddenly part of wicca now and it's like according to that book it is <laughs> and i'm like no um and of course everybody practices differently and there's so many aspects that go with that and it's very individual but i just didn't think that the book did a good job of representing a wiccan or a wiccan character or a, a character who practices witchcraft in like modern day society so and I also just thought the zombie thing was just stupid. Like, it was just a really dumb book, if I'm being honest. And <laughs> I don't see why people really, really like it at all. Anyways, those were the books that were my least favorites of this year. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. No hurt feelings. Like, it's okay if you hate some of my favorite books and vice versa. So, you know, just be respectful in the comments, especially of other people too. But Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your least favorite book that you read last year and all of your thoughts. I am I apologize for like these slow uploads and things, but I'm finally getting comfortable here, which is not good because a month, like school's done in over a month for me, probably less by the time this goes up. And now I'm just getting comfortable filming in the dorm, which is kind of sad, but <laughs> we still did it. So yeah, but anyways, I really hope you guys are doing well. And yeah, if you want to check me out on any other social media platforms, I have them all linked down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you super soon. Bye!